हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 12 फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ईकॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जीएस सो करंटली वी आर मेकिंग एपीआईज वी आर मेक वी आर वर्किंग ऑन द बैक एंड पार्ट सो व्हेन वी कंप्लीट आवर बैक एंड पार्ट वी विल स्टार्ट द फ्रंट एंड सो इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल वर्क ऑन द नेस्टेड सीरियलाइजर और यू कैन से द रिलेशनल सीरियलाइजर ओके सो वी विल फेच द रिलेशनल डेटा वी विल फेच द रिलेशनल डेटा and uh, we will also see that uh, uh, we will also create review and rating uh, review and rating model for the products okay and we will fetch it when we go to the product detail page okay so we will mainly uh, implement the two things that one is a serializer relation and the second one is uh, our product rating and reviews okay so let's start with the rating and review then we will fetch the relational data okay so let's start with the rating and review so in the model we will create model for rating and review product rating and reviews right for rating and reviews users should have to log in right so so that we will know that who is rating right so we will say product product rating right so model start model and then we have first the first one is who is the customer right so here we will say uh, we will say rating customers right and uh, then second one is product right so product we have here okay i have explained already that what is cascade relation right so model product uh, this is we will say a uh, related name we will do related name equal to product ratings right product ratings uh, this is uh, we'll say uh, this is uh, customer ratings yeah this is fine no problem all right so product rating so customer product and then we'll say rating so rating will vary between 1 to 5 okay so it should be integer field all right and then for reviews we will say model start text field right and uh, we will say add time equal to model start date time field and we will say auto add now so whenever we add rating it will automatically add the date so we'll say true right so product rating is a customer rating reviews uh, this is rating uh, this is rating vary between 1 to 5 or maybe 1 to 10 we'll see and uh, reviews right what other else we need okay if we need anything else uh, then we will implement it okay so by default we will return we will return the reviews all right so this is the model okay now let's migrate this model right then we will say manage.py migrate all right then we will say manage.py run server okay and uh, then we will create serializer url and other things okay in the feature list we also need to add in the product detail customer rating and review actually this should be this should go in the product detail not in the home page right i'll update on the on the feature list on the youtube also okay okay so now we have created a model we have migrated it uh, and uh, sorry for the bell ringing 
One minute, I'm going to silent this. Okay. All right. So reviews model. So let's create the serializer, right? So we'll copy this, paste here, and this will be product review serializer, and model will be product. Let's say product rating serializer. Okay, so the thing will be easy. So ID customer product. and uh, rating reviews at a time rating reviews at a time okay and uh, serializer is here so i hope you know about this depth so it will fetch the relational data you mean it means it will fetch the data from uh, data of the customer or product if not then it will if we not define this then it will only give the customer id but if we define this depth then it will fetch the data okay so now we have defined our product rating serializer now let's define the url okay so let's define the url according to the view set uh, before that we need to create a view so here is a view all right and uh, then we will copy this okay and then we'll say product rating view set okay product rating view set and uh, this will be product rating serializer and here is a product rating all right so product rating okay everything is fine okay so this is not a fixed things we will change this according to our requirements as we go as we create uh, as we develop our project okay so product rating view set in the url let's copy this and register here we'll say here product rating right and this view set will be go here all right and uh, if we copy this okay and paste it here okay so it is fetching nothing okay so let's add this in a model uh, sorry admin and let's add some reviews right so this will be product rating all right and uh, we need to restart because we have copied so that it is saying uh, already exist right then we will copy this and paste here admin where is the rating here and let's add rating so customer is customer 1 product is this one rating let's say 5 reviews this is awesome product right save this let's add another one rating customer 1 and this rating is 4 this is very nice product okay save this and if we refresh here you can see that everything is coming right so it is fetching the product data it is fetching the customer data okay if i remove depth from the here right if i remove the depth then it will be only return the id right here you can see that but we will need all this information so i have defined that all right now i need to find i need to find specific product rating right like we have defined a uh, one rating for product 1 and uh, one rating for product 2 right so if i if i show if, if i fetch the product detail it should show the rating okay so this is our second thing uh, this is our second thing that we will learn that how we can do that okay so if you remember sorry so if you remember when we have defined our model we have defined our 
a related name so what it will do so we know that this uh, customer is this product rating customer is connected with our primary model customer so whenever we call the customer we can call this rating customer right so it will fetch all the data related it will fetch all the all that specific customer related data from the product rating right so if i call product ratings then it will fetch all the data from product rating to specific from uh, to the specific products okay so let's see that how we can implement okay so for in the serializer let's go to the product detail here okay and we'll say here okay so the name should be same product rating equal to serializer dot and we will say primary key related many equal to true all right and then we will add this in our product rating okay now let's go to let's see url this is product one okay so let's go to product and let's go to one if we add here what it is saying query set argument let's go to the let's go in the serializer relation drf okay and if you go here okay so they have defined different kind of serializers or relations so i am going to use primary key so here we have primary key so we'll say read only and this is primary key okay so it will be copy and the serializer and here it will be true okay so product ratings let's go here and refresh this i will end this refresh here so here you can see that this is showing product rating right so this is showing product rating so this is only returning the primary key so if i add here the string related field so what it will do it will fetch it will fetch whatever we are returning in the string function here okay so it is returning the reviews but i want to return also the rating so what i will do here you can also return the diction you can also return the dictionary but let me show you that how we will return the things okay so we will return here uh, rating first of all rating and then we will return reviews right so this is actually self dot rating and this will be self dot reviews right so here you can see that five and this one right and you can also simply return let me show you this is unicode you okay let's see here all right so no worries we can return simply here you can see all right so this is returning the data if you want to return like if you want to return the dictionary then create dictionary and add the key and value so you can return the dictionary okay so currently we are returning the string right so this is the relation that we can fetch okay so if you want to return if you want to return this thing in the list then you can also do that okay but you have to define the uh, you have to define the related field in the list also so if i copy this and uh, paste here and i'll say product ratings and if i go to products then here you can see that rating is defined here all right so this is our rating and this is our string okay so when we go when we work with the react js then we will uh, the currently this is returning string but we, we when we will uh, work on the react js then we will see that how we can 
return this data as a value all right so uh, yes so this is it we have defined the relation we have uh, we are showing the related data and uh, we are also showing the uh, we have also seen that how we can uh, how we have how we can create the uh, rating and reviews okay so yes everything is fine so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any query any question then please let me know and uh, in the next video we will we will def uh, we will do something uh, some other things like we have lots of features so we have created basic things like categories products orders and uh, product detail we have already created customer rating and review already created these are the conditional things so we will do directly in the react js right so we have already seen that how we can create the uh, register login forget password we will see also when we will apply on the react js so i think it's time to start with the react js right so maybe hopefully the next video will be the home page designing okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe this channel like this video share this video okay and uh, you can also join this uh, channel okay when you click on this join you will pay some small amount and you can join this channel so i will i can give you the source code right or you can directly pay me via paypal and uh, you can also follow me on facebook and instagram i am uploading all the videos on facebook also so you can also uh, you know follow my page follow this page code lab artisan okay so code artisan lab you can follow this and uh, i am uploading all the things so yes thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video thank you